Right, boys, we're here. Rage, I think you're having a time, aren't you? Having a bit of a time with it. How are we all? What do you reckon I mean you the old uh, just chatting screen, boys? What do you reckon on the old just chatting screen? Hope you're all doing well, and thank you very much for sticking with me whilst I was on the phone to my nan. As I said, it was her uh, 91st birthday today. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, we got Luca Karna still for the time being. We are in December, 5th of December, so we're going to have a January transfer window in a minute. So I'm a little bit intrigued to see how this is going to go. I assume quite poorly. Defo a good addition. Yeah, I've got a few more bits coming. It, it should be animated. So um, the guy who's done it for me is uh, working on some stuff. I was hoping it would be, hoping it would be uh, ready for today, but it's not. So is what it is. Also, today Louise uh, laid the carpet in my office. Woman's an absolute marvel. Dynamo or Dundee? Dundee would be an interesting one. Dundee would be an interesting one. What about we all getting saucy screen? <laughs> Steady on you. Steady on. Steady on you. It sounds like you're uh, pretty eager for, eager for it anyway, Ray J. How many bodies have you got helping you content-wise these days? Uh, for the most part, it's me, obviously. Uh, I've got Jack. Jack Kirby is my editor. Um, and then Scott on my thumbnail. So, yeah, the three of us. Yeah. Usually all the YouTube edits are done through Jack. I mean, I did today's, but that was because I couldn't get the video to him in time. Because, obviously, the, draw the um, draft for the... For the showdown only happened last night, so I usually try and get him stuff at least a day ahead, and you know there was no way that that was going to happen, so so I had to suck up and do today's. Um, and then yeah, Scott's an absolute phenom on the thumbnails, and he's like almost two weeks ahead, I think. The Dundee United one speaks to me more than a Dynamo one, but I did that last year. Yeah, Dynamo's good, man. Have you noticed a massive difference with their help? I mean, Scott, 100%. Scott's been doing my thumbnail since, like, October last year. Um, and I think... it's a good start. And I think, you know, the um, the improvement on that thumbnail design is, is you know, is ridiculous. It's really, really good. Um, so Scott's been a massive help. And then Jack started doing stuff for me in January. We need to get into a little bit more of a rhythm, but 100% is helping. I've just got more time to do stuff, like, by having Jack, I'm able to do stuff for TikTok, and I know that sounds stupid, but, like, it frees me up to do other stuff, you know, to, to help the growth and this, that, and the other, so, ooh, close from Hugo Felix. But that's, that's, that's the goal, that's what it's about for me, like, you know, it's constant, constant growth, constant improvement. I definitely think the guys helped though, 100%. But it is Thursday. It is Thursday. We are having a lovely bit of Red Star. And we're moving in the right direction. I'm intrigued to see how January is going to treat us, basically. Um, January is going to be a car crash because I think Karna's going. Well, that's the idea man that's the idea is you know to still be still be oops still be worth watching still be enjoyable still be good you know uh rage i have not it is 100 on my watch list so i will get there but um today we had a plumber around so i wasn't able to get into my office until like half three ish today so i've been up against it to get today's video out to have a look at all the squads from the from the showdown from last night also to um also to, you know, record, edit, upload the video. So, yeah, I've been, been a bit pushed against it tonight. But um, I will 100% check it out tomorrow, mate. 
Any chance you're going to continue the Bremen rebuild? No, unfortunately not, mate. I just do the uh, I just do the five years. I've got the save though. If someone, oh, that's a thunder strike. Um, I do have uh, I do have the save though. I think I think it's in my I think it's in my Discord. Let me just check. I'm also very intrigued to check out versus mode. So that'll be an interesting one to actually get on and uh, check out versus mode. Let me just check in the old Discord if I've uh, if the Bremen one's in there. I think it is. Yeah, Werder Bremen was the first one that I put in there. So if you did wanna if you did wanna pick that up, my friend, you can you can definitely do so. Officially retired from tomorrow. Yes, Rage, love that for you. Absolutely love that for you. Next season, Serbian League, two club. Next season, Serbian League have two clubs in the Champions League. Oh, really? That's really good. That is really really good. Looking forward to seeing this Arsenal team. Oh yeah, they're playing Wolves tonight, aren't they? They are playing Wolverhampton Wanderers. So I will set some alerts for that, I think. Have any of you guys downloaded the update yet? I haven't. Not yet. It's uh it's on the list. It will happen after stream, but I was already I was already up and running uh, with with FM, so I just changed it. So I've not closed Football Manager, therefore I've not updated it. What's it like, Hayden? First uh, first instance. Stankovic prefers my player to Rodri. I mean, he's he's wrong. He's wrong. Not out on Xbox yet. Yeah, I'm sure they'll. Uh, I'm sure they'll roll it out pretty quickly. Marmadashvili is potentially the worst goalkeeper you've picked up. Jeez. Um. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, signed him on a freeze. Sold him to uh, Bayern, and we've got him back on loan. Sold him to Bayern, and now he's back on loan. So yeah, pretty good. But, you know, Russian teams in Ukraine team so extra spots available in all European comp uh, yeah it's a bit of a bit of a situation going on over there isn't it let's put it that way so um, yeah hoping hoping for a swift resolution there I think oh mom's has got a cold nightmare can I sign this guy I can take a look at him, and if he's any good, maybe. I spent a lot of my cash, though, so what is going on? What is going on here? Come on. Come on, football manager. Is this guy any good? He's all right. He's just not not at the level, unfortunately, Dusan. He's okay. He's a good, good player, but not, not at our level, unfortunately. Not bothered about the transfer updates. Nah, me neither. Me neither. Right, Juve away. This is going to be fun. After watching uh, Putin's news conference, it sounded like Doomsday is coming. Yeah, I've not seen that. I've not seen that. So, can only hope, can't we? Can only hope. They've actually fixed dynamic youth rating supposedly for the smaller nations. Actually get a boost now. Realistically, a builder nation save might actually be worth it. And I assume, uh, Shiny Hunter, that only impacts new saves would be my assumption. All about the narrative. Welcome in, my dude. Why was I looking at this guy? Are you like part Serbian? No. I mean, looks all right though, but not not fully what we're looking at. Oh, transfer list negotiation. Okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna start creating my own club. Nice. Are you uh, gonna be following my video for that, John? 
I hope so. A lot of sports people are on about not going to Russia. Yeah, I mean, well, the um, the Champions League final is supposed to be there, isn't it? Kana and Vlasic. Start, it's Vlasic starting in the Champions League. Fuck. Fair play. Right, I need to take him off the loan list then. If he's getting game time in the first for the first team squad, he definitely needs to not be available for the for the youth team. By the power of Christ, oh, oh, let's go, Ring. me, baby. Love you, Hood. Interrupted by Brian, the TTS man. Thank you very much, Rage. I appreciate that. I'll uh, I'll give it to uh, give it to Nanny Hood. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Credo, you missed it earlier. I was on the phone to my nan as it was her, um, it was her 90, or it is her 91st birthday today. Which is one hell of an innings, I'd say. I don't want him. I don't want him to be available for this anymore. How do I, how do I stop him being available? Ah, oh, solid. It doesn't matter. But Rage, you're too kind, man. You you always are too generous for a retiree like yourself. Happy birthday, Nana Hood. In exactly 91. Good innings. Vettel said he's not racing at Russia. I mean, that's not a huge surprise. All right, there's no pressure on us. We've got two teenagers up top. They got Edward and Moise Keane. Renato Sanchez. Yeah, that team's still pretty good, isn't it? Czech Republic, Poland, and Sweden have refused to play. play oh, wow. Um, I mean, that's the thing, right? With these sorts of situations, it's always much more than it's always much more than football. But seeing seeing how important football can be in some instances, and seeing stuff like this, and athletes take a stand is it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, right. Let's just encourage the boys. Czech Republic, Poland, and Sweden. Yeah, I've already read that one. Yeah, of course. I have it on my playlist. What a guy. It's, it's a good video. I enjoy making making clubs and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. Hover over make available and basically reclick the option you click to make him available. Ah, okay. What are these kits? What is this kit combination? Absolutely ludicrous. Karna, Nikolic, Vlasic. Oh, he's in and he's slotted. Oh, he's offside. They're never doing that to him. I, that's it. That would have been his first first senior goal for the club in the Champions League away at Turin. And it stands. Let's go. And Liverpool are beating Leverkusen as well. Karna, Nikolic into Vlasic. And he doesn't make a mistake. Let's go, young'un. Luca who? That's a good little nudge. Vasilic is his name. Sorry, I've uh, definitely butchered that. Uh, Liverpool 2 0 up against Leverkusen here. I don't think there is a way that we can actually qualify. Like, even for the Europa League. Vasilic! Oh, oh Vasilic. 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 Right, okay. It's going to take me about 10 times saying that before I get that right. And even then, even then, chat, there's no real guarantee, is there? Because you know what I'm like. Abysmal with names. Put the pressure on. Perrin, Sensi, Renato Sanchez, Lee. Cucurella is flying down this side. He's got Juma for company, though. Goes back to Renato Sanchez, into Lee in the penalty area, and he shoots wide. You should hear me butchering names. Oh, man. Everyone does it, doesn't they? Right, so yeah, the goal difference <laughs> needs an additional five, which Liverpool are, Liverpool are capable of scoring some to help that out. But the fact that we're away in Turin, I'm not holding my breath that we can do our bit, you know. Should have should have at least got a goal against Leverkusen. But obviously it wasn't to be in the Champions League this time around. If Luka Kana goes in the January for the 150 million I want for him, then we're in a good spot. Go on, Gordich. Luka Kana's in here. It's a mistake. It's a dink. That is lovely. Sensi, you are Garbo. Go! That was liquid 
football. It definitely wasn't liquid football, but look at this. Goalkeeper's going to get an assist here. Sensi misses the header. Kana just rolls him into the penalty area. Little dink over the goalkeeper. That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal from Luca Kana. Okay, chat. So, 2-0 up. Vasilic is how old now? 18. What if I don't want him available at all, though? This is the issue. I don't want him available for 90 minutes. I don't want him available for 20 minutes, if I'm honest. Let's just say until match fix. I think he's fit anyway. Let's give him 20 minutes for the next game and then hope it, hopefully it ends. You're going to be sport with 150. I mean, that's how much I want Kana for. Like, Kana to go for. But um, I don't think that is realistic, to be perfectly honest. Um, as good a first half as you're likely to see. Yeah, like, I don't I don't see that happening. Um, we've got a highlight right off the rip here. Just click on 90 minutes. Oh, okay, got you. I'll do that now before I forget. Because now he's making appearances for the first team. So you click 90 minutes, which is what he was on. And then you say, not available for 90 minutes. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thanking you, thanking you, thanking you. Part the bus. Nah, we got to try and keep scoring. <laughs> I know it would be a historical uh, victory in uh, in Turin, but we've somehow, if we keep pressing, then we could, in theory, overturn the goal difference. As I don't, I don't know if the Champions League goes on head to head. If it goes on head to head, chat, then it's then it's completely pointless what we're trying to do here. But I'm going to stay on attacking, and we're going to we're going to take it to them. Um, Leverkusen are down to ten. They're losing two 0 at Anfield. There's currently uh, <laughs> there still needs to be a four goal swing at the very least. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna carry on and just see what happens, basically. What did I miss? Not a lot, Dragon. I was talking to my nan, whose birthday it was, for a little while. Uh, Rage donated some money because he's an absolute legend. So please do go and check out FM Rage. Um, and we are in the first, well, first league game we won. Second uh, second game of the episode or of the day, we are taking on Juve away in the Champions League. Final game of the Champions League. And we are pulling their pants down. And Leverkusen have pulled a goal back. Right, okay. The dream's over, chat. The dream is over. We're not qualifying. Go on, Kana. Go on. Nikolic, go on. Oh, another dink -a dink dink We've scored three. Let's go. <laughs> Away at Juve. Love all the uploads. Keep it up. Thanks, Stuart. I appreciate that, mate. I really do. Really appreciate that. Like seeing comments, genuinely seeing comments like that really, uh, really do help and sort of spur me on to do more and some interesting stuff. Now the versus mode is out, which dropped today. I will see what I can do in terms of some other content. There's been an idea that I've been sat on for a long, long, long time. And I want to see if we can do it now. So that's going to be something I'm going to try tomorrow. Uh, Luca Kana into the penalty area. And forces a good save from Perrin. Can you be third? Maybe in terms of goal difference? I don't actually know. Um, let's make that switch there. I'd like to think so. Um, I mean, no is the answer. I think the, the goal difference is still, still too, too much. Like, I really thought Liverpool would absolutely annihilate Leverkusen here. Kana's given everything he's got. So Kabak uh, can come on. Oh, Dali. That's a shocking pass from him. Tammy Abraham into Moyes Keen. Good ball over the top. Kabak is in. No, he's not in. Forced wide. Goes back to Juma. Delivery to the far post. Guy Cedar. Oh! Goal! That was liquid football!
Can't wait for your 4 3 1 2 formation video. See how it differs from mine and whether it will improve mine. Mmm. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, uh, it's going in the tactic tester. <laughs> it's going in the tactic tester episode on Saturday. Um, and it is having an its own standalone video at uh, at some point as well probably uh thursday next week or tuesday next week sorry probably tuesday next week this is a great start <laughs> a great start absolutely pumping juve let's go boys uh that's a very good start to the stream hey we still finish bottom but it doesn't look anywhere near as bad i know they rotated but it it, it doesn't matter does nay matter right okay we got um yeah Gornich actually played really well really really well shame his position is really bad can you move your camera to the top right i mean i could do, do you think that would be of benefit i think it's head to head yeah i think it is anyway but it's, it's all good isn't it it's all good it's all good, chat. Anyway, the, the main... Yeah, there you go. There's the mid-season break. Hold on. Now gone on holiday for mid-season break. The players will report back on the 12th of January. I got a game in two days. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, there's a World Cup draw as well. We get to see where we can go with Serbia. This just reminds me... On a season where we smash Liverpool at home but finish last in the group. Yeah, it's a uh, bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Bit of a nightmare. Luka Kahn is still training exceptionally well. He's a good boy. And he's wanted by Arsenal and Man City. We had a draw with Napoli away, so we also have four points. Yeah, I, I, we should have got more out of that to be out of that group, to be honest. Right, World Cup draw. Serbia are in pot number two. How do you resort real names? You have to put the same files in the new folder. Yeah, Rage is heartbreak, but now, now we have no debt, which is good. We have a player who's wanted, whose value is really high. So now this is the first first real huge transition phase it's how we go about reinvesting this cash is my main my main problem and my main responsibility right world cup draw are we taking i don't know what we're taking here what's the folder path uh good question glad you've asked it glad you're testing me Nope, not there. I think you have to go through um, Steam. I think. I can't. I can't remember, mate. I've done a video on it, Credo. If you go and follow the video, the steps will be the same. Just replicate it. For, there's like three folders that will be in there. It'll be like the beta, the first release, and then the most recent one. Make sure the changes are amended in every single one, and then you should be fine. Let's go, Rage. Let's go. Program files, etc. I think so. I can't remember off the top of my head, mate. I've, I, as I said, I've done a video on it. I've done a video on it. Right. That is, in theory, the worst teams in each group, maybe? Is that the bottom? Yeah. They, they, that was the third seeds there, chat. So, Ghana going with Austria. Norway, Honduras. I'd... <laughs> Ali Reina, come at me, you little sh shabba. Okay, so we're in a group with Syria, so you'd like to think we would progress from that. Now it's time for the big boys. Which one of the big boys are we getting? So US going with Ghana, Austria, Senegal going with Norway and Honduras, the Germany with Nigeria and Paraguay. We get Oh Morocco. Chat, if we don't touch if we don't top that group, I'm gonna be fuming. Or is that download unofficial? Uh? No, it's not in graphics. No, 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 no. 
or is that and download unofficial add-ons all through the documents folder no it's done through your program files you there's a couple of steps that you need to do mate um as i said i've got a got a video on it morocco are the best team haha <laughs> um serbia so to face morocco when is the world cup oh it's at the end of the season let's fucking go boys Uh, can I change staff responsibilities? Match. Leeds friendlies. I want to do that. I want someone to arrange my friendlies. Backroom staff arrange friendly matches. Yeah, there we go. I don't care who we play in friendlies, to be honest. So my assistants can sort that. Mine's all in my documents folder, bro, as it's my pathway. Well, GG's for you. Steam apps. Yes, that's it. John knows. John knows. Hate that three teams in a group system. Yeah, me too. Me too. Expanding it. I don't see what expanding it does really, to be honest. If I'm being perfectly transparent, I don't see what that added benefit is. So new a screenshot. Yes, let's go. You guys are so helpful. Does that mean the new save starting tonight, Credo? Per chance. Luca Kana into the penalty area. It's a good run, good pace. Thank you guys for hanging out with me as well. I know the network game is on this evening. Um, so thank you very much for, for dropping in. I do appreciate it, as always, for a little bit of Red Star action. I am going to get to a point, hopefully today, where I've either avoided selling Luca Kana in January, which would be great, or I have cash. Probably beat Juve and lose to these 100%. I've, I told you last stream, Rage, I can't remember if you were here. Since we sold Marmanish Villy, he's been crap. Like, really, really ropes. Lazic, all over the top. No. Kana. The pitch is starting to deteriorate a little bit. Hugo Felix. Oh. It's all about the herd. Yes, Kai. My man. Anyway, the other guys get get all their airtime at the weekend with the uh, with the showdown. Lazic. Oh, careless with it. Win it back though. Go on out, Dali. Look at the run on the boy. It's flying down the side. Gives it back to Lazic. Cross comes over. Good header. Oh, good save. I put the link above to the guide. Yeah, John, I don't know if links send. I don't know if Nightbot allows them. Good boy over the top. Kana's in. He's got time. He's got space. And he slots his 23rd goal of the season. Luca Kana's bloody good, man. It's only a matter of time. All right, the shout of praise goes in against Novi Pazar. Having taken the lead, thanks to our wonder kid, Luca Kana. Go on, Big Dom. Terzic. Still potentially one of my favourite players in this squad. Can't believe we got him for only 2 million. Cross the far post. Al Dali's there. Back to Lazic. Can he put a delivery in? No. Al Dali's got space, though. Vidoslav absolutely rifles it in. He's not been as prolific this season as he was last season. Obviously, I'm asking to... Uh, obviously, I'm looking to get him to play a different position. But, um, yeah, good finish there. Hasn't scored as many as I'd like, but we're still in good shape. We're still in good shape. We're, we're joint top. Got plus 54 goal difference. I watch so many NAFM YouTube videos. This is my time to socialize and get good ideas for my saves. Exactly. Well, that I think your Dundee one's a great idea. You don't see many people doing it, to be fair. You see a decent amount of people doing stuff in Scotland, but I've not seen many um, 
Many with Dundee. Yeah, Credo's changed his bloody name, hasn't he? This Red Star Rebuild series encouraged me to scout Serbia for the first two new gens I bought. Turned out to be Wonder Kids. Can't wait for PSG to pop in soon. Yeah, exactly. It's usually the way, isn't it? It's usually the way. I mean, that's the way to do it, though, man. Is, like, to find players from, you know, areas like this. Serbia, Romania. Dali's on a, another amazing run there. Kana. Kana's looking again here. Looking for the return. Told you. 24th goal of the season for Luka Kana. See? For the narrative purposes, does the page wonders watching? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Seeing all these different ideas. Ah, lovely stuff. Cheers, mate. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Yeah, Romania is crazy for keepers and strikers. Yeah, Karna's given about everything he can, but he's on a hat trick, so I don't really want to take him off. If he scores a third, I'll take him off. How's the goalkeeper save that? Yeah, keepers and strikers for Romania. That's interesting. Of course you can rage. Always. Always for you, pal. Talk to me. I'm going to leave Khan on for a little bit longer because I want to see if he can score a hat trick. <laughs> Did you guys see Markovic just chuck himself forward there? Research. All about the research. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, it's going to a Peno review. Penalty is awarded in the end. Luka Khan has got an opportunity to score a hat-trick from the spot. And he does. 25th goal of the season for Luka Khan. Fair play. Can I, can I Hugo Felix stats after the game? Can I look at? Yes. I can. Right. Take off one youth player. Bring on another one. Vasilic is coming on. So you know about Moneyball S save we looked into. I do indeed. Hugo Felix has scored again. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at uh, Credo's message in the chat. Was this a 30-yard free kick? He's never scored from there. Oh, okay. No, he didn't score from there. So It's a good hit. I'm on the pre-game editor, making the whole United team that won the Champions League in 1999 with full face picks and squad to see if we can replicate the treble winning season. That is dedication. That is a dirty amount of effort. I've been asked to do the Class of 92 in a rebuild uh, remake for a long time. Credo suggested it months ago, and I've still not done it because I'm a lazy bitch. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Actually, that's the point. I could get you guys to pick. Who would you want next? Because I've not made them yet. Oh, I've only got one option for a player. Okay, that's fine. Well, <laughs> in which case, next week's rebuild is Totti. Followed by the Arsenal Invincibles later in the year. Yeah, mate, that's they're a lot of effort. And Wolves have taken the lead against Arsenal. Speak of the devils. Quang Hee Chan has scored for Wolverhampton Wanderers. As we are 6-0 up at home against Novi Pazard. Man's got self-creating content. But we try. We try. That's the idea. I'm going to be there for the Totti video. Yeah, I need to do something. Like, I need to try and stop all these players going to PSG, right? So, with, um, with Totti, I really need to go in and try and, like, you know, say his favourite... To be fair, uh, with Gerard, when I did Gerard, I did his favourite club was Liverpool, and he still fucking left, so... If you sell him, you might have to ask for the loan back option. What, on Karna? Yeah, I'd definitely do that. Who scored this one? Was this Hugo Felix again? I think it was, wasn't it? Good touch, calm finish. Yeah, GG's Hugo. He's class, man. Totti was my hero. Mate, he's such a legend. We've not had a one-club man thus far. 
research time on the League One club. Yeah, um, trying to think. There's quite a few that could be good. Hugo Felix is gunning for this now. Don't get sent off. Don't do anything silly. Not as 7 0 up with injury times ago. Don't do anything silly. And there's something silly. Is that an OG? Yeah. Mateja Miller Milovanovic scores the own goal. I even learned to tackle from him too. <laughs> Totti. Uh, their defense had a torrid time, didn't it? Uh, comprehensive. Charlton is a good one. Yeah, I agree. Charlton is pretty good. There's so many clubs in League One, to be fair, that are, that are good value. 15 hours of competitive football. Jesus. Right. We had someone who wanted to see Mr. Felix. Uh, that was Aiko, wasn't it? Here you go, bro. Here is Hugo. So he's now got 11 goals and 8 assists in 11 games. Which is pretty good. And his value is decent as well. Did I have a... I didn't have a uh, minimum fee release. So that's good. Hugo Felix is going to be the guy to play that Shadow Striker for us moving forward. I think in AFC Wimbledon. Yeah, boy. Money pulled the shit out of him. Serbia World Cup draw. I mean, no. Like the Shearer upload, Pity went to PSG as he would have. T yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm really annoyed. Uh, like, I, I even try to set their favorite clubs and their preferences and stuff like that. And sometimes it's still like, it's sometimes money talks, you know, and PSG are like, yeah, go on then. Which is really frustrating. Uh, Valhovic wins player, Serbian player of the year. 27 goals in 40 appearances. It's not too, too bad. Dominic's improving as well, which is good. How much do we pay for Dominic? What's his, what's his issue with training? Thinks that he should be doing more quickness training. Okay, we can do that, Dommy. He's working on his crossing, though. And I need him to continue working on his crossing, really. Does he have a minimum fee release? He doesn't. Election day at Red Star. I want this Rami Hassan guy as well. I want this guy. Serbia call up unlikely. I mean, has he played for the under 21s? He must have played. Yeah, he has. He has played for the under 21s. Like... Uh, development, transfer, transfer status, no set status on his loan. If he's going to start getting into the first team, he is aged 18, so now's the time you start bringing him in, isn't it? Right. We've got Partizan, much the same as, uh, as, uh, this game is coming up soon. Matic? Who's this guy? Guy who's never played in the game before. Sick. Katai. Petrovic. The new president. No plans to provide the club with any investment at this stage. Okay. Club vision. Reach the playoff. Yeah, we've done that. Win, win. Yeah, fine. I mean, my contract expires at the end of the season. Imagine if they don't... Uh, huh. Imagine if they don't bloody renew my contract. That'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Wolves are all over Arsenal. Is it the Emirates as well, isn't it? I think it's at the Emirates. Are you sending me TikToks? Oh, Louise is sending me TikToks. Okay, fine. All right. All right, all right, all right. This is a big game away at Partizan, this. Right, so we're mm -hmm. we're gonna play Russia in a friendly. Podents, yeah, he's a good player. Uh, 
Like, I need Luca for this game, so I'd like to think my assistant will chuck him in. Yeah, Karna, Kavic, Felic, Petrovic, Stankovic, Gervic, Dom, Milovanovic, Elikovic, Juma, Marms. Yeah, let's get it. Then we got Casido off the bench. Don't forget, guys, we've got a Rezo coming in as well. Snap. Yes, I can. Let me, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, dispatch Partizan and then I'll catch you up. But basically, the concept of the save, right, is we have taken over Red Star um, Belgrade in Serbia. Uh, they won the Champions League in 1991, uh, which was the year I was born. So the goal is to win the Champions League with them again. We're five seasons in. We are electric in, uh, in Serbia domestically, um, but um, in Europe, a little bit lacking thus far. Best European performance would be last season, which was season four, where we got into the second knockout round of the Europa League uh, and then ended up facing Liverpool. So um, I'll show you a few more of the stats very, very shortly. But yeah, that's the quick rundown. What's new with the update is just all the transfers and stuff like that. I believe they've made... Uh, I saw someone say they've made Ronaldo better. They've removed Mason Greenwood. Um... Uh, they've introduced versus mode, which will be cool. Um, I need to figure out how that works because there's a there's an idea in my brain that I want to try. Um, I'm just hoping it it does work and is I am able to do what I want to do with it. And that looks like we're going two 0 up here. Hugo Felix with a free kick to Milovanovic at the far post. We're going to the AR though, and the goal is awarded. I thought it was going to be. That's a great delivery on that free kick from Hugo Felix. Another free kick for us. Hugo Felix delivering from deep again. And this time we head wide. Ever thought about doing Wayne Rooney, seeing what he would have done if he didn't play for United? We've done Rooney, uh, Stuart. Done Rooney already. He was good. Waza Rooney. Right, two goals up away at our fiercest rivals is uh, pretty good. Care to elaborate on your versus idea? Um, <laughs> yeah. So basically what I, what the concept is, right? I don't know if any of you guys watch any FIFA content, but there's a guy uh, called AJ3FIFA. He does something called a squad builder showdown. So the concept is um, I would go in, let's say, against the man more FM. I'd pick a team. DM would pick a team. And then we basically go through, and if we guess their um, guess their players, then we are able to switch them out for someone less good. So, like, let's say I, I had a midfield three and I went, okay, I want to use Kamavinga, uh, SMS, and... Um, Kamavinga, SMS, and... Nico Barella, right? I wanted to use those three. And he guessed Barella and SMS. I would get Kamavinga, but he would pick the players that would play instead of. And then we play head-to-head. -head. It's not for anything. It doesn't mean anything, but it's just interesting content, isn't it? That's the plan. What if Southampton didn't send their uh, didn't sell their best players? Um, yeah, that'd be an interesting one. I mean, their squad would be quite good, wouldn't it? Their squad would be quite good. Uh, Partizan have pulled a goal back here. I've not been paying attention. This second half has very much got away from me. That sounds so good. Yeah, I need to see what... Um, the idea would be that I'd have a different person on each week or every other week or something to that effect, you know? New follower. That's not a problem, Stuart. Never, never need to apologise for being new to the channel, my dude. Hugo Felix. Kana... Runs into the goalkeeper there. We've got a minute of injury time left. We should not concede here. Um, oh, oh, that was that was tight. Gervic. Ball over towards Karna. It's intercept, intercepted. Out to there, Terzic. Win the challenge. Need to see this highlight come to nothing. The ball's good. Juma smashes it clear. Into Kabic. Out to Karna. Out to Kabic again. 
He's going to get a one-on-one -on -one here. He's into the penalty area, and he hits it at the goalkeeper. I'm hoping now this ball gets cleared. They've still got the ball. Where are you going? Oh, the full-time whistle goes. Jao Felix, not Jao Felix. Definitely not Jao Felix. Hugo Felix has run them ragged to get uh, today. Absolutely smashed Partizan there. The good record against Partizan does continue. Interesting idea. We'll be interested to see if that works out. Yeah, I, I, that basically I just need to test it. I need to see what happens, how we go into it, whether or not we need to export a team, or you know, like something like that. I, I don't know to be honest. Um, that's the goal. That's the objective. That's what I'd like to see. Whether or not that happens, I don't know. Right. Okay. Now we have beaten Partizan. We go into our winter break. Obviously, there are friendlies during January, but obviously, I need to pay attention during January because offers. Transfer offers. Right. We have a training camp destination. Let's go to Dubai. Why not? <laughs> United Arab Emirates. Let's go. Let's go. Hugo Felix gets 60k for 10 league assists. He's hit his target of 10 league assists in 12 games. And whilst doing that, he's got 11 goals. Ludicrous, man. Ludicrous. Absolutely no interest in signing a new contract, hey? Okay. Well, in which case... Get out! I might offer uh, Lazatic to people as well, because he's not really developed too much. Offer him to clubs and transfer list. Recruitment meeting? No. FM22 is so much better on desktop as I play on laptop. As I play on... Oh, is. I... Ah! No, I played on a laptop for ages. I played on a laptop for absolutely ages. So, yeah, I wouldn't have... Uh, I wouldn't say that specifically. Like, don't get me wrong. It is nice playing with, like... Uh, I don't know how, how you guys play but like for me with the keyboard and mouse it's it's a nice nice combo like i've got um i've got back buttons on my on my mouse so i can you know go forwards and backwards on on my mouse which is nice um fair enough fair enough i'll decline to speak to him considering his options i mean yeah whatever it's fine That is fine. But yeah, like I played on um, Tim Running. He'd have been an all right goalkeeper if I'd have bought him ages ago. I played on both PC and laptop, both very good. Yeah, I mean, it's the same game, isn't it? There's no, there's no uh, real difference in it. Oh, to Serbia players in action. Obviously, we've got a couple of weeks worth of rest here just as we go through Christmas. And then the fun begins. Then the fun begins. These are all the guys off of your list, Balen. Lesser off for money for Enketia. 21 million. I love Eddie. Eddie Enketia is a phenomenal player. Bocker make Icardi offer. I just saw there at the bottom. What issues have we got here? Is Karna no longer wanted? Uh, <laughs> Karna no longer wanted. But Vasilich is. What? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Now he now Vasilic is wanted by the exact same two clubs that wanted Luka Karna, but they no longer want Luka Karna. I mean, it could well be because I priced them out. Even Man City. Only difference with a laptop is you can take any FM anywhere with you. Yes, exactly. Exactly.
Joshua Kitolo. I assume me, Balin, you take your laptop all over the place, eh? Red Bull Salzburg's Kierkegaard in talks with AA Gent. A request to be removed from the transfer list. Who's he wanted by? Watford, Milan, and Porto. I mean, he's valued at 50, <laughs> 51 million. So, obviously, some transfers are happening, chat, on uh, in and around the 1st of Jan. Luda Goretz. Napoli make offer for Anil. 27.5 million. I'd love to have signed him right off the rip, you know. But if only we had cash, hey chat, if only we had cash. He'd, be a, he'd have his paperwork now as well, I think. If we had signed him at the start. Oh. My god. Zakadu's contract's expiring. Nemanja Jovic, I mean, his contract's expiring. I, I don't play that position. Only if Theo gets admitted to hospital, I'll take my lappy with these, helps me get through the stint. Yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense. Too many Haribo. <laughs> right. Is this Ignacia? Like, like... You're not going to want to come to me, are you? Yeah, stature in the game is not big enough. Fine. I understand. I mean, Hannibal Mejbury? What are you saying, Hannibal? Nope. Lasana Traore, guy in Shakhtar. Also, squad number is number two. Which I don't know how I feel about that. And the Mancha Botica. Uh, yeah, we'll sign you. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Get a couple more Serbs in the squad. Love to see it. He's sensational. Billy Gilmore from Chelsea. I don't think he'd, uh, I don't think he'd come here, which is part of my issue. Kai Kai's contract's are over. Omar Rekic. Caio George. <gasps> Sebastiano Esposito's contract is expiring. There's so many players here, chat. <laughs> There's so many bloody players here. Like, Fernino's a good player. Caio George, another good player. It, Juve's under 23s. Blimey. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of them are, Balaam, but the issue is that none of them want to bloody come and join me. Can you sign Savio, attacking midfielder from Brazilian club Atletico Mineral? Uh... Probably not. Uh, only because I have too many players and he's at United. <laughs> and he's at Manchester United. This dude, right? Yeah, he's at Man United. He's on loan though, but he doesn't play in any of the positions that I'd want him to play in. Uh, when does Arezzo arrive, chat? 18th of the 1st, 18th of the 1st, 18th of the 1st. Right, all my incomings are on the 18th of the 1st call. Have you seen some of the glitches Luke had in his Venezia save? No, I haven't. I heard him mention it on stream, but I didn't, like, I heard him mention that there were issues. What, uh, what happened? I think that's you when looking, but still trying to offer them contracts, even if they refuse. Yeah. Yeah. 
the issue is, right, with British players, I still think they'd say no to playing in Serbia. I think, I think for me to get them, right, they need some sort of Serbian connection or, like, they need to be from, like, Bosnia, Croatia. Do you know what I mean? They need to be, like, leaving Dinamo or something like that, maybe. This is going to be fun, though. We're ticking into the 1st of January, which means, obviously, the Premier League transfer window opens. Haaland claims Ballon d'Or. Haaland and Lewandowski are at the same club. Okay. Haaland wins best player. Swedberg wins the Copper Trophy. He's actually playing for them. Okay, fine. Let's check out Hammer Bay. Who you geezers got? Who's young? 20. Uh, dead. Dead players. Uh, Brenner. GG's. He looks nice. At Bologna. Let's go give him a scout. Lewandowski still playing. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my god, so many issues. Why? What's what's going on? Are you talking about Luke save? Zach Steffen's contract's up. Itta, Jonathan Tarr. I mean, Romario Barrow, if I could sign him. F if I. Come on. Yearly wage rise, no. That, no. Come on. Come and join Zhao Felix. Come and join Zhao Felix and rehabilitate your career. Jonas Wind. Doesn't seem like a very... Uh, doesn't seem like a very um, Manchester United player, does he? This guy looks good. He looks less good, but he's just expensive because he's at Man City. He's okay, but can't do what I need him to do. Vladimir Carvalho. Yeah, he's not as good as Dom, is he? Yeah, so what have Luke's issues been then, chat? Come on, talk to me. Like, he signed Esposito and then he didn't come over to the club despite him playing in the... Oh, ludicrous. Tim Ronning. Up for the loan list. Well, we don't need him on the loan list. I might, I might, like, just put Mom's in the youth team. Right, Luca Ryshaw has gone. Worried about quality up front. Don't you worry about that, pal. Don't you worry about it. I need to keep an eye on SMS, right? Just for when his contract expires. quite good enough yeah he couldn't register players boy was he mad oh yeah i'm not surprised i'd be the exact same if that uh if that happened what we missed uh well we've just gone into transfer window hell credo so um we've got loads of players joining on the 8th, 17th or 18th of jan uh it's winter break so there's no fixtures happening and i am worried that luca Kana is going to be purchased by someone for a sum of money that I'm not going to be completely happy with. So that's where we're at. That is where we're at. We're just trying to just trying to get through stuff here. Ah, oh, Martika's coming. Nice. Casido can speak Serbian. Love that. Martika can play. Yeah, he can play Calm if I need him to. I'll get him in and I'll train him as a Shadow Striker. Rut row. Yeah, exactly. So we'll sign Matika on a free. If we can get Barrow as well, uh, Barrio, that'd be great. 
PSG fail in bid to extend Odegaard contract. Okay. Penalty for Napoli. Oh yeah, they're playing Barca tonight, aren't they? Bye. -a. Right, Matika's done. United have offered this dude a contract. Offer zero. Oh, it's a trial. Okay, fair. Yeah, I have a feeling, chat, this January is going to be horrendous. I don't understand this. Right. So he's got a minimum fee release clause in his contract, which... Just give me that. Yeah, I mean, look, bro. They didn't hit your minimum fee release. And you've barely played. Extending my contract. Yes. I agree. I agree. I think you should. I think you should extend my contract. Right. Ooh. Barrow's coming in. Right. Barrio, uh, Barrow. Barrow. Caicedo. Hugo Felix. Arezzo? Yeah. Right, discuss it with you. Uh, 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 uh. You have a release clause. I'll let you speak to Man City, but you have to... No. If they put in a reasonable bid, yeah, fine. He's put in a transfer request. What a little salty little bitch. Still Arsenal nil, Wolves one. Wolves are on one hell of a run at the moment, aren't they? See, I don't understand these types of players, right? They've got minimum fee releases. Just, just pay it. I'm not... No, you're not having trials, bros. Why does everyone want him over Karna? Right. How much can we actually get for this guy, right? Let's try five. Right, where does five get me? Don't feel a deal can be achieved, so they walk away. Liverpool walk away at five. Man City. He wants to go to Man City. Can you give me three and a half and 20% an XL? Thoughts? No. Okay. United. Can you give me percentage in XL, 20%, and can you give me 3 million? No. Okay, fine. Right, I've been offered a new deal. Yeah, like, I'm not going to beat around the bush. That's fine. Unhappy promise. <laughs> Unhappy the promise hasn't been kept. Like, bro, if they don't give me a good value for you like you've got a minimum fee release in your contract if he goes and Kana goes I am in deep shit my hope is right that we can maybe negotiate like a two and a half mil area potentially two and a half mil with, with, with the sell on I'd be happy with two and a half mil with the salon. And the Lex for Sharon in talks with FC Porto. Interesting. Monaco. Monaco offer for PSG's Vinaldum. Jesus. Gungor's doing okay. There's a payday here, I think. 
What is wrong with the world right now? Oh, mate, tell me about it. Absolute car crash scenes, isn't it? Rangers have got one nil up against Dortmund. Is Haaland playing in that game? Is Haaland playing in that game? That is a question for you guys. Right, now I've signed a new contract. Do you reckon I should ask for a new affiliate? Joins Antwerp on loan. On loan from PSG. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Club vision, isn't it? Networking. Affiliate club. We have enough partnerships. Really important. Left behind. Lack of ambition. Annoyed. <laughs> Seems the top clubs don't want to activate the minimum fee release of stupid low bids, which unsettles the player due to your refusing. Yeah, exactly. It's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Haaland's not playing. Okay. I thought they would have tried to rush him back, but... Is he in the squad at all? Or just, just, just no. Do I offer him out? Scored a, scores a goal for us in the Champions League against Juve and thinks he's bloody Lionel Messi again. Jolson Fernandez. I mean, good. I'm glad he can speak Serbian and now I offer him to clubs. Even if I can get, like, a mil for him. I agree, mate. I completely agree. Right, we've got transfer offers here. No offers for Fernandez. Fuck's sake. Yeah, go and go and talk to dudes. Players' wage demands are in excess. Oh, 1.3. Right. Manchester City... Give me two and a half mil up front and then percentage in Excel, 20%. One point set. Right, now we're actually talking. Now we're actually talking. No, he didn't even travel. Wow. Right, 2.2 and 20%. 2.1 flat. Fine. Okay. How about you guys? Can you give me two and a half? 1.9. Okay. I mean, in which case, fuck off. You can go to live. You can go. You can go. Uh, you can go to Manchester City then. He wants to stay here on loan, does he? Go on then. Playing time, star player. Really? Just not seen it. He'd be in the first team if he was good enough. Yeah, I did see Celtic getting knocked out by Bodo Glimt, but Glimt are a good team, man. Right, transfer offers. United. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what I've accepted elsewhere. Sign him whatever the price. I don't play anyone in that position, though. I love them offering the loan back, though. It's like we want to buy your player, <laughs> but you can have him back because we don't want to. We don't want to buy him. We want him to be our player, but we don't want to actually play him. Stupid, 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 stupid. All right, here come here come the reinforcements, boys. Arezzo, Arezzo, Arezzo. No reports. Everybody should be ready to continue the season. Yeah, I need to shift some non-serves. I think. Croatians, Rocco, Moise Cosido, Mams, 
Yeah, Jolson Fernandez, I need to sell. Um, offer to clubs. Can someone give me two and a half million for him? Milovanovic, are you developed like at all? He's still five star, four and a half star potential. His positioning's up to 12 now, which is good. He's definitely getting a little bit better. United making the offer. So it's United versus City for this, for Vlasic then. Norfers for Fernandez. We're about to send a 35 man squad to the UAE. Look at the booth on, on him. I can't can't do it to myself. Edda. Yeah, not it. Not it. I'm tempted to play Lurvik, actually, chat. Sassuolo. Even Sassuolo have got stacks, you know. Atalanta and offer for Ziyech. It's interesting seeing all these transfers go through, guys. Still got a way to come back into it. Yeah, so what's it now? 5-3? You bought a Rezo, huh? I certainly did. <laughs> I didn't think he would leave Udinese, but he was a fringe player. So, yeah, we sold Luca Raishaw and bought a Rezo. For how much? Like two point something? Two point something? Bring back on attack, yeah. He's working on his crossing, which is an eight. Okay. Barbonja. He's still a five star ability player. Loitering in my first team. He's only 17, so I'm just keeping him just training at the moment. Yeah, Weasel, it was like two point something. Uh, 2.3 million. Mateo Cesarazzo comes in from Udinese. It was, a, it was the top end of the top end of the bargain but I'm happy with it I think if I can keep Kana, Arezzo, Kana and, Jao, uh, and Hugo Felix keep improving the team as you go exactly exactly I mean I, I got Luca Reichel for free sold him back to Austria for some profit okay Man City are uh, footing the bill for his um his uh, tch, 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 uh what's it called his um his whatever work permit Matez Arezzo two and a half star player what oh, it's Arezzo man This guy looks like a solid midfielder. Like, I don't see what the reservations were. Is it more around the transfer fee? I don't know. Uh, right, Arezzo, you are a striker and you are going to train as a complete forward because it does the most attributes. You're going on a double intensity with a final focus of shooting. I imagine if he doesn't get a work permit. I mean, yeah, getting into England's... Uh, Getting into England's a little bit more tricky now, hey? Right, let's welcome all the boys. Luca Kana's welcoming people, like. Imagine coming to a club as some of these guys and being like welcomed by a child. This is the centre back. Is it? Yeah, this is the centre back. Fringe player he's come in as. After a hundred appearances in his uh, club career already. Right, squad registration. 
auto select. Okay, it's booted Al Dali. Al Dali, I cannot select him. I can select him. Krim Kanate, that'll be the 30. Yeah, fine, whatever. Pfft, squad player. Yeah, I'll offer him a new deal. I think he's been alright. He's come in on a free transfer. Yeah, 4.8k is nothing. Right. We'll be interested to see how Reza develops in my save as he does not seem as good as he did in FN21. Yeah, I think he's pretty good. I think he's solid. I think he's solid. Uh, Muscab, we, you've not missed a huge deal. We beat, um, we beat Juventus 4-0 in the Champions League. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, we beat, we beat Juve in the Champions League 4-0 and now we're in the, uh, now we're in the transfer window. Yeah, he's not consistent though. I, like, I don't want to buy Serbs if they're not consistent. He's consistent, but he's got shit hair. <laughs> There's a lot of partially Serbian nationality players in the German Youth League. Yeah, I mean, um, we're signing Matika. You must have got lucky. Now nah, we shit on them. Honestly, absolutely shit on them. 2.09 XG for us. We were good, you know. How did you find that youngster, Juma? I have one of my uh, scouts set up to scout Africa. Uh, where is he? East Africa. Zoran Perkovic is set up to do Africa. Oh, oh, oh no, sorry, it was uh, Petrag Rogan. Or oh, one of these guys. I've got, I've got some guys in Africa, East Africa, North Africa. How you been? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Okay. How are you? Welcome into the channel. Oh, you scouted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just scout reports. Just do the old regional scouting. You know what it's like. So without restriction, what is my best eleven? Like this is just. Why has he not been included? Basically, scouts who have knowledge of other continents. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Would prefer to stay, but is open to leaving. Yeah, well. Time you went. Bye-bye. It's only training camp, bro. I made an error. It won't happen again, Benko. Hugo, I don't know what my assistant was thinking. It means a lot that you've come to speak to me about it. No need to worry. Yes. Drakeny just wanted to go to uh Drakeny just wanted to go on the lash. Mitrovic. Your defense is terrified because Mitro's on fire. No offers. Fair enough. I don't want to fight this. Maya. This guy can go out on loan 100%. Mino. Osmar Mino. Have I actually got him working on his positioning? Nope, not technique. It is tactical. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what you're saying there, Lazar, unfortunately, my friend. I've accepted. He is on the loan list. That's fine. Molders Folfana, 2.6 mil. Okay. 
Morton Host. Maybe. Can't head a ball. I got Shamati on a free from Sporting for Kaiser Slout, and he's played. He's only played 29 games, scoring 14 goals. Now Porto won him already. Man City, Man City still chasing Chelly. Yeah, that's the way it happens, man. How far? Uh, how far out the Bundesliga are you? Uh, the the German pyramid now are you? Yeah, is that a, is that a good shout? Is it? Um, what's his name? M uh, Mino or whatever his name is. Squad. Osmar Mino. Sweeper keeper trains more of the attributes, does it? Okay. Let's put him on sweeper keeper attack. Yeah, improves his first touch, his vision. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Good call. Good comms. Good comms. I need this guy to do Shadow Striker. Yeah, you're not you're not that anymore, my guy. You are a Shadow Striker on attack. I need you to figure out how to put the ball in the back of the net. His uh, agility and balance has gone up, hey. And let's get him strength training. Strength. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 yeah, we're getting some good fullbacks apparently this year. Excellent group of intake. In my third season and sitting seventh in the Bundesliga. I love that. Absolutely love that. Guys, if we could ideally keep the uh keep the chat to English, that'd be fantastic. His work permit's been granted, so he goes to Man City, and he comes straight back on loan. Follow Ben Foster, he's got a really good podcast. Yeah, I like the Fozcast, I think it's pretty good. I don't listen to all of them, but it's, it's pretty good. Yes, I watch episodes on YouTube. The podcast I listen to is The Guardian Football Weekly. So where's he gone on loan? Okay, he's gone on to the team in 13th. No, that's not bad. I hope he plays. Agree playing time backup. I mean, it's one of those things. He's not even a backup in our squad. So for him to go somewhere else in Serbia, still maintain his, his, uh, his, you know, status and trying, trying to get him in. It's going to be interesting to see if you get any any debt that come at the start of the season, which seems to have happened every season you played. Yeah, I mean, it fluctuates, doesn't it? Because you pay for loads of stuff at the start of the season. Slovakian? Complete wing back. Not consistent. Well, chat, I, I hate to say it right now. He's a cycling GK. I, I, yeah, yeah, I follow it all, John, to be honest. Follow it all. Um, I like Ben Foster. He's a good guy. Always strikes me as a good guy anyway. Um, we've actually, say it, say it with hush tones, right? We're actually doing all right in the fact that Kana's not been bid for just yet. I mean, deadline day for Premier League clubs isn't until we play Salzburg, so... 3-1 Barca. GG's. GG's. Where's he going from? Mm. Yeah, so it's, it's, to be honest, it's fine. Like, I assume you're not saying anything offensive. I assume you're just talking in Serbian.
Oh, I don't like it every time there's an offer that comes in. Oh, okay. Loan deal. Loan deal? DL Pro, that's in China, right? Yeah, Chinese League. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Go out on loan. Please don't sell Kana. <laughs> he called you a prick. Who did? Oh, yeah. Lazar talking in Serbian. Yeah, well. I've been called worse. I'll tell you what. Karim Kanate has been doing all right recently as well, hasn't he? Hmm. Can you bring in Gabriel Pirani? I don't know who that is, but we can have a little, little peek. Central midfielder for Santos. Looks miserable as there. Yeah, he looks like a good little player. Dortmund now 2 1 up on Rangers, 5 4 Rangers on aggregate. Uh oh. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. I'm waiting for one of these guys from like Estudentes or somewhere like in South America to just blow my bloody socks off. In terms of their ability levels. RB Salzburg at home. This be interesting. But, 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 but. Only a couple of days to go, chat. Okay, so Al Dali can go out on loan because I don't want him sat getting annoyed that he's not playing. And with the foreign quota that I've got to try and balance now. Moise Casido. I still can't believe that we were able to sign him. Him, uh, Hugo Felix, Romario Barrow. All great signings. All great signings. Who in theory can go for a lot more money. RB Salzburg on the 21st of January. I'd like to think this is deadline day, isn't it, in the UK? So we draw 1-1 with Salzburg. Does this mean next Sunday's Red Star versus Partizan? Yeah, I've heard. That's gonna be a that's gonna be an interesting one, for sure. Discord. Oh, are you saying to talk in Discord? I mean, yeah, that would work. That would work, fellas. Gaston Vega. United are going to try and pick him up for. Okay. He's not consistent though, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, this guy can go. Well, chat, we've advanced into February, which isn't bad. Looks like we are keeping Luca Kana. Disappointed, disappointed in the transfer window. Why? Paying over the odds. Transfer fee for Arezzo on the high side. Wage is too high for a place in the squad. Like, Lurvik isn't much worse than Marms. It's just Marms is at a better level right now. Not in the Forest versus Bristol City this, uh, this Saturday. Well, I'd like to take the early opportunity, Balin, to congratulate you on a fantastic three points. I hope you enjoy them. Not that I'm salty. Ch 
Chen Pengfei. Juve are offering some some casholas for him. Oh, Liverpool. Fuck. Uh, okay. Right. I would need 10 mil for this to happen. Oh. Well, all right then. <laughs> and who do bloody Man City want now? This guy's not as good, in my opinion. So, yes. 40% uh, of the next sell. And then if you can give me one and a half, and then we'll bump this up because this is guaranteed money this way. 800 and 250k plus 50 percent give me 1.2 and 250 done big team's just gonna poach players yeah terzic is an issue but but i've signed a serbian center back which means dom wherever dom is dominic this guy can actually now go and play left back um, with Terzic leaving. But then that does slightly make calls for concern. Um, have you increased the club's reputation? I don't know how you check that. But Terzic is gone for 10 mil. <laughs> and this guy's gone, another guy gone to Man City for, for some cash. So we're flush on transfer budget. We got no debts. Mm -mm -mm. It's club info, right? Where's the national repu uh, continental reputation? So we're continental, so we're getting there. Bad vibes. How you doing, bro? How are you doing? My issue genuinely is like the amount of Serbs that I can get in this team. That restriction, best 11. That's not my best 11, but how many have we got non Serbs? One, two, three. Only three. Okay. He's on a free at the end of the season. See, my issue right right here, right now, guys, is that I just don't have Serbians. That's my issue. Is it like state? Is is like that? At the state of the at the start of the save, I thought it maybe got increased since big teams. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like people are after my players an awful lot. That's for damn sure. Uh, search Serbians. Contract status is expiring. I mean, I could go and get this guy, Nemanja Jovic, but he just doesn't play in any of the positions I want him to play in. I could buy him and try and play him in, like, or I could sign him and try and play him in centre midfield. He is a part, former partisan guy, though. He wants to come in as a fringe player. Yeah, he doesn't want to come in as a fringe player. Douchebag. I could sign SMS's brother. Not the best. Are there any Serbs transfer listed? Now I've got like 10 mil burning a hole in my pocket. None that are interested in coming to me. When you like snive. Uh, Sunday. Sunday afternoon. We will kick things off between 2 and 3 o'clock. 
Thank you very much for your support, Stuart. It's been nice having you here. I don't think we'll advance too, too much this evening. Forty nine and a half million in transfer fees in this one season. Yeah, Stefan, we've tried and we've tried and had a look at a uh, topic, but not uh, not a huge fan. I don't think he's good enough. Don't think he's good enough to come in. Genuinely. I wish to search all the best. Um, he is very good for us. Signed in for two million from Fiorentina. Played two very good seasons, two and a half very good seasons with us, and then sold him to Liverpool for ten. It's the way of the road. It is the way of the road. Now I've just got to try and balance keeping everybody happy. That's my main issue. Mm, no. We're not doing a recruitment meeting, fellas. No, no, no. Last little friendly before we get back into the season then. Obviously, we're out of all European competitions, which is annoying, but is what it is. We've moved into February. Luca Kana is still a Red Star player. Which you absolutely... This is the dude, isn't it? Mirko Topic. Like, he's okay. Like, he is. He is okay. We'll scout him. We'll have a look. So, when we scouted him before, the report wasn't overly um, positive. To be perfectly honest. Cheers, Stuart. Uh, absolute pleasure, man. As I said, absolute pleasure. Love having new people in the chat and new new commenters and stuff like that. So thank you very much. I do I do appreciate it. I do appreciate. Ay ay ay. Tired. Another five-star potential striker turns professional. Who'd have bloody thought, hey, chat? We are producing centre forwards like it's going out of bloody style. If only our youth intake this year could actually have some, I don't know, like full-backs or... Good, Vlasic, uh, Vasil, Vlasic has come back and he's got injured straight away. It's good. Annoying, would have rather have sold him. Luca Kana. Training out of his box again. Got 16 composure now, guys. 12 strength. That's uh, definitely going up. Quite considerably, actually. Yeah, his strength has gone up 5 now. All right, let's send this to Gareth, the man who loves his development. Ticking along. Hugo Felix. Show him please in progress. Good. I think it's going to have to be a case of a Serbian keeper soon, chat. Do I go and buy Popovich again? <laughs> go and buy a guy I've already sold in this save. SMS is injured. Need to need to start wrapping him in cotton wool if we're going to go into the bloody World Cup, eh? Need to wrap him right up in cotton wool. We should start making some good progress into these fixtures now. Because the games are going to come thick and fast. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Laban. Luca Laban. Why do I recognise that name? 
We guess because we've skited him before. Okay. Playing the team in third, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try and give Arezzo his debut. I want to try and give Arezzo his debut. I want to try and give... Uh... Basically, I want the, the trio up top of Hugo Felix, uh, Kana... I always forget that Kana um, isn't our player, is he? Aerial ability. Uh... Right, so Luca Kana. The bravery is one that we're going to try and get up now. So I think you guys told me last time around it was aerial ability. Yeah, aerial. He's built to develop, and that way you add head in. Please to welcome back Karna. Yeah, don't lie. You'd love to welcome Karna back into your team. You're not going to welcome him back to play against you. I can't wait for Serbia to join the bloody EU. <laughs> In game. <laughs> It's going to make my life so much easier. Right. I would like to play a Rezo. So now I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. I swap you and you. So then I've got one, two, three, four. Alright, let's go, fellas. Let's go. Arezzo is the DLF. We're going to have Luca Kana as the advance forward. And we're going to have Hugo Felix in behind them. So this strike force for me screams goals. We've had to amend things a little bit defensively. Um, yeah, so we've had to uh, do some stuff defensively. Little switches around these just to make sure that everything's running, everything's flowing. I can get the right sort of players in. We've already qualified for the playoff. That's no real surprise there. And let's give a encouragement shout. Arezzo and Luca Kana. It's be interesting to see how we get on. Hopefully the defense does stay strong though. That's a little bit of pinball early doors. Oh, I thought Kana was going to bring that down. Didn't. Lazic with the throw then. Into Luka Kana in the penalty area. Floats it across. Hugo Felix is there for his 11th goal of the season. Nice assist that for Luka Kana. Good delivery. Now he's working on his aerial ability. So he should get a little bit braver. I don't need his bravery to be massive. But it's only 8 at the moment. So needs to be a little bit better than that. As Hugo Felix scores a goal. Which sends us 6 points clear at the top of the table. Give praise the entire team just before half time. Should keep them nice and smiley. Uh, very good first half. Keep it up. Hugo Felix doing the business again. On the score sheet. Right, Lazic with the throw in this time. Into Arezzo. His header gets cleared. To the new centre back that we signed. We go again. Into Hugo Felix. Lazic. Petrovic. Lazic. Driving forward into the area. Hits it straight at the goalkeeper. No real surprises there. No real surprises there. I'm hoping that because of the winter break, a lot of our players are sort of revitalised. Marmadus really flaps at that. This pitch seems very narrow. 
very bloody narrow. Floated delivery. Marmadashvili grabs that one. Drops to the ground. Kaisido's down at a 6.2 and he's on a booking. So that means I can take him off. Also means I can bring on another... Another international player. I shouldn't start saying foreign player, should I? I should say international player. Sorry, Dusan. I, I so, unfortunately, I don't speak Serbian, my dude. I'm sure Lazar or someone can uh, give you a hand with whatever your request is. May take a, new, a few games. Yeah, I mean, not everybody just slots into life like... Uh, not everybody uh, slots into life like uh, Hugo Felix, do they? I mean, this is a tougher game as well. This is a team in third, don't forget. Arezzo. Elikovic. It's a poor pass. Delivery, no. Elikovic, Hugo Felix. I thought he was going to turn and hit it. Garvik, that's a goal. Did a Deportivo La Coruña save. I did five years and finished fourth in the La Liga as your highest. That's good. That's good. I did I did ten, um, and I got up into second. Um, still struggled to get past Barca and Real Madrid for the most part. Arezzo not having a great game. Neither neither is Luca Carna here. To be fair. Is that Elikovic getting sent off here? 92nd minute gives away a penalty. He's already on a booking. I hope that doesn't mean he gets sent off. The penalty is awarded. That's fine. It is no red card for Elikovic. That's good. And we have Pavkov versus Marmadishvili. And um, Big Mom saves it. Wow. Fourth in La Liga in five years with Depor. That's a that's that's good bloody go, isn't that? Good win, boys. Obviously, I don't have an influence over Arezzo yet. He's only just come to the club, hasn't he? So we need to just be need to just be safe and just sit and chill on stuff at the moment. Well done, Marms. Still frustrates me seeing the Bayern bloody badge there, but it's fine. We've got 9 million in the transfer budget. And 50 million in the, 50 million in the bank balance. Already with state-of-the-art facilities and stuff. Uh, can I ask him to... How bad's, how bad's the pitch? Warm weather training camp. No staff. Can I get some more coaches? What do you reckon, chat? We've already got 11 coaches, but can we get some more? Very interested in a transfer. Natural in a couple of positions. Two and a half star player. Probably not the one, chat. Probably not the one. Yeah, Caden, that's a, that's that's one hell of a hell of a run. Five years with Depor. In the third tier. Because you've got to have at least two seasons to get there. You know? Uh, right, okay. Coaches allowed was rejected. It's got to a certain point now with, with my board request that regardless of what I say, they just say no. Whatever I ask for, it's just like, nah, nah, we're all right. Nah, you're right. TSC tie up deal. Right, transfer deadline passes. Good, good, good. We sold players. We didn't sell who I thought. Um, we didn't sell who I thought we would have sold, to be perfectly honest. I thought Luca Kana was a goner. Right, I need to put Benko in the squad. Uh, I need to put Lurvik in the squad. So that's 30. Yeah. 
of play. Yeah, I don't need to register. Don't need to register Luca Kana, do I? I use Grogu. Ah, okay. Well, that kind of explains a little. <laughs> it kind of explains it a little bit more if you use Grogu. It's a good little tactic. Ah, oh, man, Gareth. Kaisido, well done. I'll try and sell that Fernandez in the summer. We try and sell that in the summer. Once this game started, chat, it's going to be an interesting one again. Feels like we're taking on all the teams at the, the, the sort of top end of the table right now. And where is... Uh... Where's our mate gone on loan? Is he playing for them? Schedule. No, he's not playing for them. Annoying. We should say that we want players to go out and be... Uh, and we want them to be first team. Both goalkeepers here actually played all right. Milos Dob Dobrin Jack Dobrin Jack from Radnik Who's the best? Who is the best in the season preview? Moms. I mean this is entirely my team. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ball seem to become far less accommodating for things further you progress. Yeah, it's really frustrating, isn't it? Really frustrating. Right then, guys. This is the team. Mom, Slazic, Markovic, Milovanovic, Dom, Petro... Kunic, Casido, Felix, Vlasic, Kana. Lervik's gonna be number one. He is gonna Whoa! be. He is gonna be number one. He's gonna be number one next uh, next season. That's for sure. Savish, nineteen oh six. Welcome, my friend. Celtic boy as well. Two quick fire uh, uh, subscriptions there. Thank you very much, fellas. Welcome in. Welcome into the community, as I always say. Never know if you're here in the stream. If you are, say hi. If you are coming in from a video, then you're coming in for a video and you don't care that I'm live. So, GG's. GG's, boys. GG's. Hugo Felix with the delivery. Bam. How's today's video gone, chat? That's my question. I don't know what happened with that live when I tried. To, I tried to go live earlier and it just wasn't wasn't working, wasn't having it. So let's delete that forever. Don't want that clogging up my feed, you know. As Petrovic gives us the lead here. 200 views. 7 out of 10. The duration is pretty good, though. GG's, chat. GG's. David, welcome, my friend. David Harker. Welcome into the chat. How are things? How are things, David? We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good right here, right now. On a nice little run with Red Star. But it is kind of d like domestic dominance, as you kind of would expect. Hey, guys. English, please. English, por favor. Go on, Dom. Put a good ball in. Winners, Kana. Oh, boo. Oh, he flapped it. <laughs> Luca Kana scores his 26th goal of the season. I'm hoping working on his bravery makes him that sort of all-round elite level talent. I'm I'm just ra polishing a gem to send on to like PSG or somewhere stupid like that, aren't I? As Kana pops in as a poacher, gets his 27th goal of the season. 
Yeah, I'm all good. Thanks, David. Um, save's going pretty good. Uh, this is season number five with Red Star in Serbia. We're doing really, really well for the most part. Very good domestically. Very, very poor uh, in Europe in terms of what we're trying to achieve. Basically, the reason I am Red Star manager, they won the Champions League in 1991, which is the year I was born. So I'm trying to replicate that feat here um, and wallop. And kind of scored a hat-trick of scabby goals in like five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the goal. Win the Champions League with Red Star and um, try and take them back to the top of uh, top of European football. Um, domestically, we're pretty good. We've won the league every single season. We've won the cup every other season thus far uh, in the four years. Um, so yeah, like you know, we're doing we're doing pretty pretty good. Um, can't really complain. I think <laughs> I think for the most part we're doing pretty solid. Um, right, I need a central midfielder here. Uh, Vidoslav, you can just go and play center mid on attack. Is fine. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the save in a nutshell. Um, we've got some good players at the club now. Um, Arezzo, Hugo Felix, Moise Casido. Uh, we've got one of the best um, new gens in the game in Luca Carna. Uh, it's very. In uh, Vasilic has just scored his first league match, a league goal of the season. The new gens that have come through the club have been very, very good so far. Um, as you can see, Vasilic, the guy who's just scored here, uh, has a blue name, if you can kind of see that. No, you can't. My face is in the way. Um, the guy who just scored is now a Manchester City player. We sold him to Man City. Must be in the Serbian Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah, I think I got in straight away, pretty much. Um, yeah, I think we got in pretty much straight away. Let's praise the team. Like, nine point... Like, Luka Kana scored a hat-trick inside four minutes. It's crazy. I'm back. Did you sell him? No. Nobody wanted him. Which is baffling. He scored a hat-trick in this game, though. Him and Vasilic up top together uh, are a problem, I think. Petrovic. No good. Who's been signed and sold? Uh, nobody... Well, we've sold Vasilic, who was um, our actual first season new gen. Uh, so he's he's gone. He's been sold to Manchester City, uh, but loaned back. Hugo Felix with the delivery. And he scored another one there. I think he is on side. That's all good, Muscap. How you doing? Here he is. Todor. Goal awarded. Of course it is awarded. Um, our strikers are doing the business right here, right now. I'll uh, do it. Ugh, sloppy. I'll do a super quick uh, transfer update for you guys after, um, after this game. We've had our World Cup group as well. We're in a group with Morocco and Syria, which is at the end of this season. So that'll be a good one. I think that'll probably be in and around Tuesday's stream, the World Cup, would be my assumption. Hugo Felix takes it short. And we go all the way back. Got Big Dom on the ball here. Oh, the big sign-in. Sorry, the, sorry, the big sign-in. Kana. Oh, filth. The big sign-in that, uh, that we sold was Terzic to Liverpool. So our left back went to Liverpool for 10 million. It was a big signing. Big or big selling, should I say. We scored seven here and I've not even really been paying attention. We just absolutely annihilated them here. Time you stream until tonight. Around 10-ish, mate. Around 10-ish. Great win that. Luka Kana scores four. Uh, Vasilic scores two. Easy. How long are you out for? Three to four weeks. Okay, that kind of helps me a little bit. Not going to lie. I think this is where Luka Kana's going to, like, take off, right? Like, he's still 18. He's just scored four in a game. If we go to his career stats, right? <laughs> so, in his first first full season, we played him right off the rip. 28 appearances in the league. 18 goals. Second full season, 27 games in the league. 20 goals. This year, 20 goals in 13 appearances in the league. 29 in 26 in all comps. He's taken seven penalties. He's scored seven penalties. He's got four assists. 
Like, the guy's a monster. Um, in terms of this transfer update, then. Uh, we've had a few players come in. Obviously, Lurvik, Arezzo, uh, Banjic, um, Kovacic, Kova, Kovacic, Kovacic, sure. And then Vasilic has come back on loan from Man City, who has been sold. Uh, Terzic went for 10 million, but that's behind my head. Uh, Ahmed Al Dali has gone out on loan. Um, yeah, like we've made this season, we've made uh, 51 million. You should be able to see that just above my head. Yeah, so we've made 51 million and spent 25. So we're in a good spot. Financed, financially, we've got no debt. Oh, financially, uh, no debt anymore. You signed a Rezo. Yes, yes, we did. Mateus Rezo. You're signing only Serbian players. I, I mean, for, for the most part, I'm looking for Serbian players. Yes. Um, obviously, uh, the surrounding countries, uh, they can come in and they can play. Um, but they need to complete a few years of... Um, a few years of playing to earn their papers so that they're like listed as a domestic player. Like this guy's from the Czech Republic. Uh, he's got to stay here. Yeah. For another like four years. Uh, which is a bit, a bit, a bit steep. Um, yeah. 1,597 days. That's, that's a long time. How, uh, what's Benko? Because he's, he's listed as a foreign national. Yeah, so the guy's coming in. Oh, okay. So Benkovic is actually awaiting his paperwork. This would help me out so damn much. He's got to be here for two years. Benko getting his paperwork would be fantastic. Have some saying suggestions for the Greek League, if you might be interested. Um, potentially for a rebuild. I mean, uh, Pana would be quite good. Um... That would probably be my first port of call if I was to go in Greece and do like a rebuild save. But out of curiosity, David, who are the suggestions? And all of you guys who are here, if you haven't liked the stream already, please do like the stream. It does help it uh, get out there to as many people as humanly possible. It's just a little button down below. Just give it a like. It's free, isn't it? <laughs> it's free, isn't it? Uh, so Petrovic, yeah. I want to play a Rezo. Arezzo for Vidislav. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shit. Okay. So, one, two... You know... Oh. This is tough, you know, chat. I'm actually going to drop Marms. Gordich can come in and play. Already did. My guy. Well, Arsenal have equalised against Wolves. Love to see that. Love to see that. Let's give them the old media team talk. I feel a bit bad about Vasilic um, scoring two and then going back straight onto the bench, but he's left. He wanted to leave. Fuck that guy. Radnik Sudulika. Interesting. Not really having a good start here. Hugo Felix, though. Force a good save from a free kick. Sometimes it takes us a little bit of time to break through, but we'll get there eventually. Hugo Felix on the corner, then. It's very rare that we don't score in games. That's all I'm going to say. Jankovic. Mm -hmm. That's a good pass. So we've got Elikovic and Markovic as the two centre-backs here. Juma's getting a game, which is nice to see. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Let's see what happens in this highlight. Petrovic with the ball, sprays it out towards Luka Kana. Goalkeeper's going to get there first, forces him to clear it though. Elikovic takes the ball, steps into the space. Lovely. Hugo Felix out to Luka Kana again. Can he cross? Because Arezzo can head it. Doesn't matter. It goes to the near post. And Nikolic taps him. Who scored for Arsenal, chat? 
Nicholas Bloody Pepe. Nicholas Bloody Pepe. Who'd have thought? Mm -mm. Juma on the throw. That's a big touch. <laughs> I want to know how long it takes the guy from Tanzania to earn his uh, Serbian paperwork. So I know in real life, obviously, they've got uh, Ben and Kanga. Oof! I believe come from Africa. I'm not 100% sure. That might be very offensive, though. Mm -hmm. And that's the second goal of the game from Nikolic. Nikolic. Bam, bam. Arezzo, again, not having a great game here. Maybe we'll give him until he's got his, uh, he can speak Serbian. Okay, David, I'll, uh, I'll make a note of those. 2-2 two, two in the Rangers-Dortmund game. Ah, well, that's Rangers through then, surely. Restores their two-goal advantage. Haven't seen Pepe in a long time. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's popped up with an equaliser here. Sign a Ukrainian player out of respect to what's happening right now. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it could, but I don't think me signing a player in Football Manager who is Ukrainian is is going to benefit the situation in the slightest. So, Arezzo, is that his first goal for the club? Is that Mateus Arezzo's first goal for the club? Yes, it is. And Juma with the assist as well. Thrown into Kana. Back to Juma. First time ball. Out jumps his man. Good finish. Dom throws it into Hugo Felix. Cross comes over. We don't win that header this time. Juma. Juma needs to work his way out to the right-hand side a little bit more. He should find space. Arezzo. Arezzo made a fantastic little run there. They aren't finished there, Ukrainian. We. Hugo Felix. Gets bundled over here. We not... And then I get a player sent off, hey? We're not, we not investigating that on VAR chat. We're not investigating that one on VAR. Arezzo is a strong one. Yeah, I think so. When did you sign him? Who are you talking about, Muscat? Arezzo in the January. In January. In the January transfer window. Looks like we're just going to um, easily see this out. Rig match. How is that not a pen? Uh, Jack, I completely agree. I thought you didn't get a permit, but you signed him in chat. No, no, he got a, he, he, He's all good. He's all good. He's all good papers-wise. Just need to see how long we can keep people here. I mean, Benkovic is about to get his paperwork, which is good. That frees up a spot for sure because Benkovic has actually been very, very good since he's been here. But like the guy from the Czech Republic, he's got to be here like f nigh on five years. I'll check on some of the other guys like, um, like I can check on Juma, I can check on Hugo Felix and stuff. I got my blunt, I got my papers, exactly. 
How good are your youth intake? Usually pretty darn good. Um, the guy we just sold to Manchester City came through my youth intake. So free player. Sold him for 2 million plus a sell-on percentage. Uh, Luca Kana wasn't one of our players but came through a youth intake. And in my opinion, he's going to be the best striker in the game. I look forward to playing him at the World Cup alongside Dusan. Um, we're not a million miles away, actually, from our next youth intake, but that'll be that'll be on Sunday stream. Good ball, Luca. Do the thing, Luca. Do the thing. Thirtieth goal of the season for Luca Garner. Thirty for an eighteen-year-old man. He's going to be better than Dusan by the bloody World Cup. <laughs> Bold of you to say that he'd be the best striker in the world. I think he will. Give him another year or two. Like he's 18 at the moment and he's dominating. Karna and Valovic will be a uh, Valhovic will be a deadly duo. I think so. I think so. Then I could probably play Luka Jovic as the shadow striker. Ooh, that would have goals in it. Kana goes back to Juma. Georgi Hadji. Uh, yeah, definitely at some point. Um, next week's is uh, Totti, though. Francisco Totti. And then after that, I do kind of want to do Arsene Wenger, to be honest. I want to see how big Arsene gets on. Big Arsene. Luka Kana, four and a half star player right now. And he's wanted again by Manchester City. Fuck off, Manchester City. Go away. Go away. Right, half nine. Three striker formation can fit in all three, but might be better with the usual formation. I mean, I'll play the exact same thing that I'm playing right here, right now. So he's made some improvement. Slightly improved his heading and his passing. Good. The squad's less desirable characteristics have had an effect. I don't really care. Benefited from individual training focus. Developing well in training. Like, guy's a monster, you know. And now he's working on his area. We should get better in the air. I'm hoping his bravery goes up as well. I'm going to praise him. I think I have a wonder kid that's better than Kana. I disagree. <laughs> Who is it? Who are we talking about? Show me. Pop it in Discord. Pop it in Discord. Javoul. Javoul. I think we could absolutely annihilate Javor here. Cesaro has left the WWE. Uh, I mm, it, ish Edinburgh. Uh, my, one of my close mates uh, loves his WWE, so I I talk about it. Prolific Kana on the verge of history. Closing in on a piece of history has become their all-time top league goal scorer. Netted 21 league goals so far, and with a new record. Now within this sites, all eyes will be on him as he chases a place in history. The record by comparison is 23. 23 goals in a season. Jeez. Did you check in the editor? Uh, no, I, you, I, I don't have the editor enabled. Not for this save anyway. I wouldn't want to know, to be honest. I'd prefer to not know. I would prefer to not know. Um, and Edinburgh, was he was he released or did he like what happened? What happened? I mean, to be fair, we've been playing Karna since he's been sixteen, so his ability is only going to go up, isn't it? I gotta try and balance and keep everybody happy, which is a bit of a challenge right now. 
Used to have friends, but I got enemies. Yeah, Weasel, to be honest, I'd rather not know his uh I'd rather not know his ability. Luca Khan is now a highly influential player as well. Which is good. Lazic on the throw. Into Petrovic. Strikes from range. That is a filthy goal. That is a dirty goal. And as I said, it could be one-way traffic. Just wondering how far he can, Im how much more he can improve because he's already close to five stars. I mean, that five stars is only relative to my team, though. So, like, you could put him in a team with Haaland and he could be a two-star player. Do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's all relative to, to your own squad. That's why I don't really trust the star ratings. I kind of look at, um, I kind of look at the, just the player it, it, and how they are, you know. Javor on the set piece here. I think released. Mm, I'll message my mate Jack. Is he the sort of so, sort of guy who'd go to AEW? Uh, good clearance, Benko. Right, we're already winning. Give them the praise shout. That should keep their morale up, keep them happy. Your tactic used right now is available for download. Not yet, Adrian. Not yet. Tuesday next week. Arsenal have scored again, chat. Arsenal look like they're going to win this game 2-1. I've just seen the notification on flash score. Alexandra Lacazette in the 95th minute. Petrovic. Out to the left. Right, Karna. Score header. Up. Didn't win it. A version of this tactic is coming on Tuesday. A better version in actuality. Gareth has worked on it. It does better than this one. The Incredible Hulk. Because <laughs> you actually the shit at your opponents, as you can kind of tell. We're 2 0 up and none of our strikers have scored. Like, Hugo Felix hasn't scored. Karna's not scored. Take your time. This is all just one way traffic, isn't it? If I could ideally get some uh, footage of. Um... Yeah, if I could get some footage of these guys scoring filthy goals, that'd be great. As Hugo Felix scores his 13th goal of the season to put a 3-0 up inside the first half. Okay, so the, the goals are slowly creeping their way up the field now. Petrovic scored two from midfield. Hugo Felix has now scored one. Yet to get the strikers in on the act. That's a good save, Marms. Good save, good save. Another good save. Could easily be a megastar. Yeah, I don't understand why there's so much of the, the in the WWE where they don't use people. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand Roman's big, a big draw. I understand, like, um, Brock is a big draw. Um... But yeah, like there's there's so many people in my opinion that haven't been used. Um, like I think you'll start seeing the same with like Kevin Owens soon, and you know. I like Kevin Owens. Can I bring on a Rezo? Kevin Owens recently signed a new contract, however, Cesaro didn't sign and just exited. Oh, he just let it expire then. Fair. 
It's on the Wonder Kid channel. Let's have a little peek. Yeah, he's pretty good. 18 finish and 18 first touch. That's pretty good. What is he? Striker or left midfielder? Needs to work on his stamina and his acceleration a little bit, hey? Get him working on his physicals. But yeah, Echo, um, Echo he's, a, he's a good player. Santino Morella was the best. Papatista? And John Chena? <laughs> what happened to Santino? I assume he just got released now. Although saying that, uh, Edinburgh, I was... Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I was um, driving yesterday, coming back, and um, the Enzo Amore theme song came on on my Spotify. Being soft is a sin. Bada bing, bada boom. A realist guy's in a room. How you doing? Let go. Oh, nice. Now he does it in an MMA school. You weren't soft yesterday. S A W F T. Soft. Good tune, that. <laughs> Sue. The Cobra Man. Watched a lot of Raw and SmackDown when. Yeah, see, like, I used to. Um, I didn't. I never, never watched loads of wrestling. Like, I'd always watch WrestleMania and uh, Raw Rumbles and stuff like that. Raw Rumble was always my favorite uh, pay per view. Go on, Petrovic. Hat trick. Nope, never mind. I saw Enzo and Klaus in Edinburgh. Oh, yeah, that's not a surprise. That's not a surprise. It's another 7 0 victory here. Uh, as good a win as you're about to see. Like, even then, in this game, Luca Kana did nothing in the game, and then he just pops up 84th minute goal. You know? Hugo Felix is injured. Okay, fine. Two goals, two assists for Petro. Fair play. Have we got anyone to use contracts expiring this year? That I'm, like, worried about. Mm, no. Okay, cool. 619. <laughs> Dial it up, baby. Dial it up. Yeah, I think WWE needs to be careful, man. Not that I think, like, AEW is in their immediate vicinity. But it's closing the gap. Much the same, like, when I talk about YouTube and stuff, like YouTube versus Twitch, it's the same thing. It's like the market leader, the 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 big the big dog in the in the in the scene. They just don't have as much care and attention as the young hungry performer so that's where the issues come because they just get complacent youtuber got complacent uh sorry twitcher got complacent hey james how's it going man Edinburgh, you never have to apologise, mate. You could sit here all evening and look. It's all good, man. Easy. Yeah, we're doing all right. Since the since the winter break, we've been pretty good. Like, since the winter break, 2-0, 7-1, 4-1, goals per game. Let's go. Let's go. Goals per game. We're almost going four a game. I remember waiting around 3, 4 o'clock at night due to the Romanian time zone to watch WrestleMania, the most awaited event, Undertaker and his winning streak. Also, money in the bank. Yeah, see, for me, Royal Rumbles were always the, always the one. Royal Rumbles were always the one. 
the first one of the first ones I watched was the street fight between Triple H and Cactus Jack in like the 90s. That was ridiculous. G Y R F M Gareth, welcome in, my friend. How are we doing? How was your uh, FIFA sesh last night? Productive in the end, I assume. And are you uh, are you ready for next weekend? Oh yeah, shit, that's next weekend. Fuck. Time for me to put the old. I mean, I see you won 7 0. Yeah, we've had a couple of them. Yeah, so we had a winter break. We scored 7 against Novi Pazar before the winter break. And we had a winter break. And we've scored 7 twice since we've come back from the winter break. Went well until I got too drunk. Yeah, that's usually the way. You should have seen me try and play Fortnite the other night. <laughs> it started bad and it just ended awful. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, at the moment, Gareth, we are we're just slapping teams. 300 games in management. Let's go. Rumble 2000. Ah, it was 2000, was it? I thought it was uh, 99. Ah, that's cool. I didn't know that. Uh, like I don't I don't go into all that sort of stuff. But yeah, that that one was fantastic. I was I was a big fan of that. What else has gone up here? His decision making's gone up, his flares good. Consistent performer. It's gonna make me really upset when we saw Luca Kana. Hang on, what's next weekend? Uh Gareth. Playoffs. Royal Rumble's an old school Survivor Series were my favourite. Survivor Series not what it used to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually uh usually the way it goes, isn't it, in certain instances. <laughs> Edinburgh, I'm not surprised. Especially when the, the sort of main event is at that sort of level. Didn't know it was next week. I'm like I'm I'm ninety percent sure it's next week, mate. Thursday, Sunday, I think. I checked though, but I, I'm like 99% sure. You know what? I'll check for you now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Friday the 4th and Sunday the 6th is what it's listed as, but I don't know if that is the actual uh, confirmed. So I would check that. I don't even know what the uh I don't even know what the step is here. I think we're getting a penalty here. So it is next week. Okay, yeah, that, that could be an issue. <laughs> for for you then, maybe, I guess, if you're not a hundred percent. Connor scores his eighth pen, I think, of the season. 32nd goal of the year. That's definitely next week's date wise. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, it's playoffs, draft night, and uh, and fixtures. I'll uh, I'll drop Keg a message just to, or I'll fire up the uh, Twitter group <sighs> Zach on behind for a corner <laughs> says we're finding our groove here let's go we should get to that first we do this is interesting with the three attacking midfielders. Oh, Petro. He's got so much time. <laughs> so much time. Yeah, attacking midfielder, attacking midfielder, attacking midfielder. I don't understand that. Whoopsie. Juma. 
Yeah, give it to Big Dom. He can cross it a little bit better. Okay, give it to Edakovic. Kana drills it against the post. <laughs> this is uh, one-way traffic inside the, the first half hour here. Juma picks the ball up. Juma again. Juma's playing quite a lot of football here for us at right back. Right back has always been notoriously an issue for us. So getting a guy in from Tanzania. Giving him a run out. The goalkeeper's got to do better with that, surely. Surely the keeper's got to do better with that. We're checking VAR. Goal awarded. Karna scores his second of the game. 33rd of the season. This has got Luca Karna hat-trick written all over it, I think, chat. Another one rifles off the crossbar. We're just playing such good stuff right now. Defensively, we're so solid. And we're just blowing teams away. This is definitely a, an XG machine, this tactic, Gareth. Out to Juma. Float it up. Float it up. Ah, boo. <laughs> there is the hat trick inside the first half for Luca Kana. They look like real title contenders here. Of course, we're bloody title contenders. Gareth, for this, do you reckon I should try and get Scott to put Hallen's head on the Hulk and make him green? I think that'd be cool. I'll message him tomorrow. Um, blowing them away. I mean, I'm just saying the same stuff. Like, before a game, I'm just like, mm, watch out for that old media. They're giving you a lot of credit. And then at halftime, I'm like, I oh, blown them away. And then at full time, I'm like, that's as comprehensive as it gets. <laughs> I'm just saying the same shit. <laughs> I'm giving the same three team talks as we just rattle through the whole division. Don't know what Petrovic playing at is 6.9. Try it with and without, but it could be awesome. I'll message him and see what he says. He's not done like a complicated thumbnail for me for a while. <laughs> like some of the other ones that he's done, like the players and stuff, are almost to a point a template. Literally give the same team talk before every game. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing, mate. Give them the old, the media giving you a lot of credit. Just played my Champions League game, won 4-0 against Genk. Went through the group stages. Pretty nuts. That's really good, man. That's really good. I'm hoping now, right, because we're getting a lot of cash in. This is where we can take stuff to the next level. Is the hope. One of these seasons you'll clinch the league. I mean, yeah, it's all about um how the rest of the how the rest of the teams are doing. Like Partizan have actually been okay this year. In comparison to previous seasons. I'd like that though. I mean, I don't know why Vasilic is uh taking these free kicks, but Rangers knocked Dortmund out in the Europa League. GG's. It's a cracking effort, that. That's about as comprehensive as it gets. You've totally blown them away. Managed to win against Benfica. Home game. Got lucky. Drew against Manchester United away. Won both games against Genk. Oh, that's a good group. That's a really good group.
25 and 16 for Karna, like. <laughs> I'm 100% taking him to the World Cup, Jesus. Pochettino unhappy. Fuck off, Poch. In short, to sum up, Poch, do one. I love getting a report on my own team. Why? Because he'd come in as a international player. Let's check some of these guys. 852 days left for Karim Kanate. That's not good. Guy from Tanzania. I assume he's going to have a lot as well. 900 days for him. I'm going to end up selling him beforehand. How long is it going to take Hugo Felix to break in? Yeah, another bloody long time. What GYRFM tactic do you suggest? I mean, the main man's in the chat. Um, unless he's gone to beg the missus to look after the kids next Sunday. Which is definitely possible. How's Zolst getting on? He's actually developing alright, you know. CR7 and Mbappe have joined them in my save. They have below 6.5 rating in that away game somehow. Good effort. Good effort. Flamengo offer money for Bobby Firmino. All right, this is going to be the last game of the last game of the night, chat. And Karna has the opportunity now. With a new record well in his sights, the existing record is 35. Most goals by a player in a season was Zivi. He's now not really been doing a lot at Anderlecht, to be honest. I should have sold him for money, but he's not really done a lot at Anderlecht, so. So he needs to score one more goal. And I would be very surprised if he didn't do that. Kungo is scoring a goal every other game as well, which is not bad. I think what I might do is try and sign that Egyptian fella. Is Job Bellingham in the new update? I uh, couldn't tell you, Kelvin. I've not even downloaded the new update yet. And my football manager was already open by the time that they dropped the update. So I have no idea, unfortunately. Partizan are through to the next round. That's good for the coefficient, I suppose. Right then, final game. How crap is Chelly doing? Now you sold him. I will check after this game, Balen. Actually, that's a very good. That's a very good. Uh, very good suggestion. Very good suggestion to go and check him out. I mean, the fact that there's a highlight here off of kickoff, considering we're not on extended. I mean, Kana. Ooh, almost. I'd assume he's going to be loan listed at some point. Chelly, left back. Nah, he's uh, central attacker midfielder, mate. Uriel Chelly. Any Belgian regen wonder kids? Uh, yes, there is a defender, I want to say, playing for Genk right now. Who's very good. We're not at the stage, for the most part, where a lot of the new gens are actually breaking into the teams just yet. So... Winners. Yes. So, like, into the national teams or anything. We've got a World Cup coming up at the end of the season when we get there, which would be probably in, like, two streams time. Got a World Cup coming up then, so that'll be an interesting opportunity to scout um, a decent number of players. We scored after a minute again, chat. Or two minutes, sorry. Two minutes. I think this could be another five, 
five, six, seven nilla. Into Luca Kana. Great move. Nikolic is in. Force of the save. He should really they should we should really be scoring opportunities like that, chat, to be fair. Should really be just getting in, slotting, good, easy peasy goals. Right, give him praise. There's only 15 minutes into this game. Does the GYRFM 4-3-2 tactic? Yes, it will still work. Even on the new update, I'm guaranteeing you it will work. That's good. Swanzalona's good. Grogu's really good. Bane's pretty good. Like, there's there's quite a lot of them that are decent. We're bringing this out. The tactic I'm using here. Or a version, a newer version of this tactic that I'm using here. Um, well done, Luca. Um, so he's got the goal scoring record and um, we're bringing out a new version or a better version of the tactic that I'm using here on Tuesday I think you should Muscab I think you should go and get some rest I'm all for rest always me like you sleep broken arrow is pretty good defensively yeah very good defensively mate I think your issue, right, is because you've got the five back and then you've got the three, the one, the one, they, I assume the ones get isolated. Have you had any changes to your training? No, not yet, but I'm assuming that the winter update is going to cause me some sort of an issue. So when that does roll around in this save, um, when people start moaning, I'll probably make some changes then. Big fan of rest. I remember I used to do it before I had kids. Yeah, I bet. I bet you don't remember those uh, those times anymore, do you? Hey, we are all over them here. Twenty four minutes in, we're two 0 up already. Three 0 Yeah. You got a tactic to suggest? Gareth is putting forward a tactic for the tactic tester this weekend. I've actually run all the tests for this weekend so far. I will be recording the video tomorrow. I just need to do the graphics to go with it. I need to do the tables and stuff. What's rest? Yeah, I'm sure you don't know anymore, Credo. XG's up now. I'm going to make a new tactic. Yes, bring it, Rage. Bring it. Might have to give your tactic a shout. Got an idea, but won't. Ugh. May have to give your tactic a shout, a shout, but got an idea of what I want to create and keep it, keep being distracted. <laughs> yeah, to have creating tactics is, is, is good fun, man. You should have, um, whilst Louise was away, I think Gareth and I were working on, like, corners. No, not corners. It was bloody throw-ins, wasn't it, Gareth? Working on throw-ins until, like, one in the morning at one point. So, um, yeah, crazy. I would recommend Pochettino. Even if you don't like him, the tactic works well. <laughs> Up the Poch. Up the Poch. Right, we're getting to halftime. We're 2 0 up naturally with this tactic. Right, there we go. Uh, what, 45 minutes that was? You're blowing them away. <laughs> yeah, and didn't get anywhere. True. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a playlist on my channel, Muscab. You can go on there, just literally throw something, you'll hit a tactic that works really well. <laughs> like. It's been a while since Gareth's brought something out, so I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to next week. The hype and anticipation and stuff, I think it's going to be good. It's a good one. Oh, Poch. Oh. I was going to say, you're giving, you're giving this week's to other testers. How dare you? But if you're not, I don't know. It's, it's... <laughs> uh, we've kind of taken our foot off the gas here. And I've not really been paying attention as to why. Like, we're just, we're just good. We're just better than the rest of Serbia. Go on, Dom. 
Yeah, two months has flown by. Draft comps, Christmas, family stuff. Yeah, exactly, mate. Exactly. Yeah, I don't even have to pay you anything this month, do I? GG's. <laughs> Just the other boys I've got paid. Oh, yeah, Balin. That's something else. Someone else I forgot. Gareth. He's on the payroll. Do you think a 4-3-3 with two central mids on attack would work? I personally do. Yep. I love a CM on attack. There's two of them in this tactic. Boo. <laughs> Kind of header. Why are we fanning around with the ball? Get it in. In. There we go. Yeah, it's just Scott and Jack this month. But don't worry, boys. Don't worry. I'm earning on TikTok now. So big dubs all round for everyone. You should start every episode showing your current squad IMO. Bro, literally that every other day that I show the team. Oi, mm -mm. oi. I guess you need wingers to keep some width then or rely on wing backs. Yeah. Um, I. How were you thinking of playing the three up top? Um, Kenneris. How were you thinking of playing the, the three up top? Because I like three strikers in a line personally. That's what I use in my PvP. Oh, Christ, they've pumped someone. 8 1. Why do you mostly use fullbacks and not wingback role within your tactics? Because they start further back, in my opinion. I assume that's why he, he does it. That's about as comprehensive as it gets. Keep the wingers wide, Europe. I think you should start your stream by showing the guns with a painted on red stars on. <laughs> I don't mind showing the arms. The arms are decent. The arms are solid, but um, anything else is a bit ropes. But yeah, anything else other than that at the moment is a bit ropey. All right, Juma's getting a bloody pay rise. Good. And I believe if we go on landmarks, or am I going at records, records, records? Youngest player, Luka Kana. Most goals in a season is Zivkovic. Most league goals. So Zivkovic got 23 league goals and 35 in a season. Whereas now we have the one, the only, Luka Kana, who has now got 35 and 26. So he is our record all-time goal scorer, but it's not updated just yet. My guess with wing backs on support is the one I use most. Oh, what's this got? I know what we've got is inverted, but um, yeah, wing back on support, wing back on attack does well. Do you even lift, bro? No, not at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's you, Fintake. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. It said we had fullbacks. You liar. Who's the best? The bottom guy. These aren't it, chat. These aren't it. He's all right, actually. He is all right. Center mid. Good first touch. Good passing. Solid everywhere. Right, we're going to sign these boys, and then we're going to go. And Rage, you tell me, bro. I am born ready. I mean, Credo's the one who's the most difficult to liaise with, only because of the child factor. Let's sign all these guys. Like, it doesn't matter, does it? They can come in on pennies, even if they're not that good. They're actually saying this guy's this guy's at a higher level than most. He's actually got attributes that could work, but anywho, I need to remember that this is where we got to because that means on Sunday when we stream 
I need to go through and say, take a look at all the other new gens that have come through every other team. Right, fellas, it's been an absolute pleasure. Never a chore. Um, obviously, sorry, guys, that we did start a little bit later than usual, but had to speak to uh, the grandmother on her 91st birthday. Um, but as a, as always, guys, it's been a it's been a pleasure, and I will see you on Sunday for another edition of Rebuilding Red Star. Take care, guys.